Wheezy Chikasian is the most friendly, hardworking, and fun person I have ever met. She brings out the best in everyone around her, and her outgoing personality is contagious. Wheezy loves making her own inspirational mottos, and the one that she follows most and best describes her is, just live a little. Whether she is setting toasters on fire in the cafeteria or being bullied by her little brothers, Wheeze can always see the positive side in everything. One day last year, Jen and I were sitting in Wheezy's room on her computer. We opened her photo booth to find a video of her completely alone, singing There Will Come a Day by Faith Hill. There's a better place where my father waits and every tear he was As some of you know, we thought it would be funny for more people to see it, and it eventually made its way to Facebook. However, Wheezy, like usual, was a good sport about it, showing that she never lets little things affect her. Helen and I, like Wheezy, began EA as new freshmen, and we all quickly were drawn to each other. To this day, we view her as a sister and are so excited to see all the big things she will continue to accomplish throughout college. Please, Please stand, stand agree, agree our, our best friend, friend Wheezy Chikasian. Those who know me well call me Wheezy. Those who know me from my early childhood call me Louise. Those who don't know much about me, except for the name on my health forms, call me Jacqueline. But how does this really affect me? Early on, I was embarrassed because of my strange and unusual name. People would say, do you wheeze a lot? Or, who names their kid Wheezy? And my personal favorite, did you know you and Lil Wayne have the same name? For everyone who is wondering about the last one, the answer is yes, I am fully aware. <laughs> Although I once wished my name was simple, I have since realized that my name sets me apart from others. We all have our own quirks and differences, and for me, it is my name. To me, my name is a part of the little things that matter most in my life. Once I accepted my unusual name, I became more confident because I was getting comfortable with the uncomfortable, as my father always likes to say. His words remind me that I will be stronger if I can get comfortable with any situation, no matter how hard it may be to face. Becoming comfortable with my name is one of the little things that matters most to me. The little things in life come in two forms. One, how you make a person feel and how little gestures affect people the most. And two, the little obstacles we are forced to overcome that help us jump over bigger hurdles in the future. Have you ever wondered how you make another person feel? Have you ever wondered why someone might say good morning or congratulate you on one of your big accomplishments? Think about how it makes you feel and why you do it. I believe we say and do good things for other people because we genuinely care. Also, think about the little obstacles that you have had to overcome in order to win a big game receive an A on the test you studied countless hours for, or even the little steps you've taken to rebuild a friendship. Most people think that the little things in life do not matter much, but trust me when I say that those are the things that matter the most. The first form of the little things is how you make another person feel and how little gestures affect people the most. One of the ways we can positively affect people is through our words. Words are so powerful. They come in many different sizes, sounds, and meanings. More importantly, we have the power in our hands to use words to affect, affect the lives of others in a positive way. Like I said before, saying good morning to a teacher or friend can have a bigger impact than we think. Simply saying congratulations to someone shows them you care. In addition, encouragement is one of the most important gestures we can share with each other. We all look for encouragement from others to secure that we're on the right path, so why not give it right back? Although encouragement might not always be accepted, the point is that you took matters into your own hands to make another person feel better. Another way we can affect the lives of others through small gestures is simply by spreading joy. 
A smile represents the smallest form of joy. It can be the start of a long friendship or just be great for the moment. No matter how small the gesture, just know that any gesture affects people the most. We've heard this quote many times in chapel before, but I think that Maya Angelou hits the nail on the head when she says, I've learned that people will never forget what you did. People will never forget what you did, what you said, but people will never forget how you made them feel. The second form of the little things includes the obstacles we overcome that help us conquer bigger hurdles in the future. Like I said before, my unusual name was an obstacle I overcame that has shaped the way I live my life now. In the third grade, when I finally started to introduce myself as Wheezy, I thought as though I had completed a challenge. Although it may seem trivial now, this was a monumental change in my life because I no longer allowed differences to hinder my confidence and character. Another time in my life when I really had to persevere is when I came to EA my freshman year. As most of you know, coming to a new school is no easy task. New teachers, new people, new buildings, new everything. Despite how hard I tried to hide it, I was scared. I quickly became resentful towards my former school for only going up to eighth grade. With these feelings bottled up inside of me, I was more than nervous to be begin a new chapter in my life at EA. Despite these feelings, it did not take me long to realize the sense of community that radiates throughout EA. For one, the upperclassmen on the field hockey team were more than friendly. Freshmen, you know the feeling when it seems as though time stops when an upperclassman says hi to you? Well, that was the, one of the little gestures that helped me settle in. Not to mention the enormous help I sought from teachers. Let me take this time to thank the faculty at EA. They truly have every student's best interest in mind, and I can't thank my teachers enough for helping me face my challenges. Whether intentional or not, the little gestures from people throughout the community truly help us overcome the hurdles set before us every day. One recent example of how a small gesture has the power to positively impact a person, or in this case, a group of people, happened about a week ago when we listened to Mr. Tim Chambers introduce his new movie, The Mighty Max, a story of an underdog women's basketball team that found its way to the championship title. Aside from the film itself, Mr. Chambers explained in detail the importance of perseverance and the appreciation of the opportunities we were given on a daily basis. He remarked that the little obstacles we overcome lead to the big win in the end. From sports games to standing up for what we believe is right, Mr. Chambers elaborated on the importance of the effort we put into the little detail of our lives. That same day, our varsity field hockey team played our number one rival, Notre Dame. I truly have faith in the fact that Mr. Chambers gave his speech on that day for a reason. Before our game began, we thought about Mr. Chambers' powerful words and related the story of the Mighty Max to our team. We were considered the underdogs at the beginning of the season, yet we have established ourselves quite well in the Interac. That day, we claimed victory over Notre Dame in a 3-2 overtime win. In fear of jinxing the rest of our season, I will say no more, except for that Mr. Chambers' speech served as an inspiration to our team. In other words, it was a little gesture that contributed to the perseverance of our team to result in a big win. At EA, we are taught to live life through the stripes. Self-control, faith, honesty, courtesy, kindness, generosity, gratitude, courage, respect, and sportsmanship. They shape how we live our lives and quite literally are the little things we do every day that affect those around us. For me, the most influential stripe is faith. Throughout my years at EA, I've relied on my faith to help guide me through the thick and the thin. When I feel at a loss for my own faith, I look to our community to help me rebuild my strength and keep moving forward. Gandhi once said, be the change you want to see in the world. With the stripes in mind, I pose a question. How will you be the change you want to see in the world? Through living the stripes, we are fulfilling Gandhi's philosophy. When we make the smallest gestures towards others, we affect their, their lives in the biggest ways. When we conquer the smallest obstacles, we strengthen ourselves to overcome bigger hurdles. But you see, these go hand in hand. 
the little things people do for us then give us the strength we need to carry out our lives in a positive manner. In closing, I leave you with this thought. Always remember that little things go a long way. Thank you.